Hey guys, Delman here with part 4 of Star Citizen History where we will dive into uh, more of the history of the verse and the alien races and things like this. So today's specialty is the Van Duel. That's what this episode is focused around and we'll uh, learn more about the Van Duel together and uh, what they are about and what drives them. Alright, so let's jump right in. The Van Duel, pronounced Van Duel, are a race in Star Citizen. They are highly aggressive and appear to travel the galaxy in hordes, raiding colonies to survive. The Van Duel's motivation is not pure bloodthirstiness. They're after resources rather than just kill tallies. They are more interested in getting you out of the way quickly than just running around playing whack a pilot. The Van Duel are the fourth alien race discovered by the UEE, the first being the Banu. History Humanities first encountered the Van Duel. In 2681, when they attacked human colonies near Ryan's system, during raids, they would not destroy colony communication towers, and would leave more valuable items in favor of trivial or useless ones. Things haven't really improved since then. The UEE's entire interaction with the Vandal has been through combat. There was silence after the first Vandal attack in 2681. Once the UEE figured out what they were dealing with, an entirely new species, humanity braced itself for something. Though the military prepared for the possibility of diplomatic contact, the brutality of the attack on Dell Township strongly indicated the second contact would most likely be a violent as well. But for weeks, while fighting forces the UEE Navy and Marines waited, nothing happened. After the end of the Mesa era, the new Imperator attempted to stop the violence and open diplomatic relations with the Vandul. The desperate structure of the Vandul civilization makes it nearly impossible to negotiate with the species as a whole. But none of the individual clans offered anything but hostility. The diplomatic emissaries were exclusively met with laser fire. One result was we don't know why they hate us so much. While it's very easy to see why the UEE refers to them as barbaric, the Vanduul are not stupid or merely savages. There is currently no known homeworld for the Vanduul. Political System Meritocracy There is little to no communication between the different roaming clans. Each fleet operates as its own society with its own independent set of rules, laws and customs as directed by the clan's chieftain. As such, it is probably impossible to make peace or establish diplomatic relations with the Vanduul as a whole, since there is no cohesive civilization. Clan Theory Dr. Aulo Gills, a renowned anthropologist, released a study exploring Vanduul's social dynamics. By comparing the prominent glimpse of the Vanduul ships, he introduced what became known as Clan Theory in which he hypothesized that the Vanduul organized themselves in a self-sufficient groups rather than adopting a species-wide government. As interaction with the Vanduul settled into a prolonged series of light skirmishes, Gale's theory became more and more accepted and has since developed across the Empire that neither diplomacy nor outright war was likely at all. Society the Van Duel's family structure is also very distinct from humanity. There is one tradition that exists throughout all the Van Duel. Once a child reaches adulthood, usually around human equivalency of 13 or 14, they are banished from their family. Before they go, the parents will fashion a knife for their child. The knife will become the child's only possession as he or she sets out into adulthood. They will receive no money, housing or support of any kind from their former family. Everything that the newly uh, recognized adult achieves starts with the knife and grows from there. Therefore, there is no heraldry to transfer of resources or influence in Vandal society. Consequently, it is believed that these knives are treasured possessions that the Vandal keep for all of their lives. While it is possible to legitimately gain one of these pers through personal combat, if the Vandal discover that someone has obtained a knife, through theft or sale, they are known to retrieve these items through violence. Religion The Vanduul appears to be structured around an emphasis of self-reliance. It is theorized the Vanduul youth are educated 
in these lives of exemplary Van Duel the past, specifically the choices they made and how they overcame the environment and distinguished themselves. Culture. Again, there is little known about the Vandal culture other than they disperse into different hordes. When a captured Vandal carrier ship designated X-12 was studied, DNA analysis discovered a wide range of genetic diversity, implying social interaction beyond the single horde. Also notable, all bodies studied from X-12 are male, further suggesting that there must be a central convergence of vandal groups where mating and other cooperative activities take place. Knife imagery appears throughout their media, with printed images of knives being common on the walls or personal quarters. Their chapels feature elaborate stained glass images of knives. Their blade-focused imagery seems also to express itself in their starship design. Every vandal found on X-12 was also found clutching a blade. These blades are believed to be crafted by their owners, as the owner's musculature perfectly matched the impurities in their blades, although all blades' composition suggests a single point of origin. Vandul Ships Blade, Collector, Communication Ship, Crawler, Glaive, Harvester, Harvester Carrier, Hunter Destroyer, King Ship, Mauler, Reaper, Scythe, Stinger, Tomahawk, and the Void. Star Systems There are currently 16 known systems in Vandul territory. Most Vandul systems seem to have names starting with V. Caliban, Orion, Tiber, Vagabond, Vanguard, Vector, Vendetta, Virtus, Vermilion, Vesper, Viking, Virgil, Virgo, Volt, Voodoo, and Vulture. Personality Traits from a purely anthropological perspective, the Vandal behave like classic hunter-gatherers. They are very insular species. They in rarely interact with those outside of their clan, even other Vandal. In combat, the Vandal are relentless and merciless. In a textbook raid, they will hit hard and fast and never intentionally leave survivors. Over the decades, they have adapted their tactics and have learned the purpose of human structures. As most clans will hit the comm stations first, then target landing yards to minimize potential resistance in the air before sweeping through on foot. Is it possible for a singular human to establish a trade with a Vandal? Yes. However, there is yet no commonly accepted guidelines for engaging in Vandal trade. Diplomatic status. Humans. Hostile. Banu. Some clans will trade with Banu planet states. Zion. While distance plays a factor, there is a lot of unfriendly systems between the Vandal and the Zyan. Their limited contact has not been particularly fruitful. Some clans have established tentative trading relations, but majority of the Vandal regard the Zyan as manipulators and cowards. The Zyan view the Gandul as short-sighted and barbaric thugs. There is no known relationship with the Karthak and the Vandal. So guys, that's the Vandal. Uh, there is limited information. We know that... Uh, they have multiple leaders, and uh, they, they scavenge for everything. We had first contact with them in 2681. We don't know what their home planet is, even if they have one or not. They have uh, 16 star systems. And yeah, they're, they're a very, very interesting race. Uh, I think there's more to them than meets the eye. In Squadron 42, uh, the campaign of Star System, I think we'll get a real feel for what they are like to fight in combat. The Vanduul are a lot taller than humans. They're around uh, 9 or you know, eight feet tall, they're pretty bulky, they've got sharp claws, and um, yeah, they, they use a lot of close combat weaponry. I'm wondering what on foot types of uh, projectile weaponry they'll have. It'll be interesting to see what uh, weapons they've adopted for first person, you know, on foot combat. With the Vandul, I am, uh, I'm looking forward to fighting them, but not looking forward to being boarded by them. That would often be quite a worrying uh, prospect, you know, where you're you're trying to plan out ahead, and then all of a sudden, you know, Vanduul attack, shields down, engines have failed. You're trying to tell your crew, you know, okay, guys, you know, prepare for boarding, and then all of a sudden, that's it, you know, crap hits the fan, and Vanduul are on board the ship, throwing people around like ragdolls, leaving no survivors intentionally, and uh, you'll have to hide in a duct somewhere, you know. So yeah, it'll be good fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another history video. The next video will probably be on the UEE and things like this. See ya.
Also, let me know if you enjoy this type of video series and uh, what sort of video series you'd like to see in the future in the comments below and what your thoughts are on the Vanduul in the comments below. Alright guys, you know the drill. Fly safe, Commanders, and I'll see you in the verse.